Okay, mission 14. Um, so, uh, I've got my two promotion points from the last level. Um, I'm just realizing something now as I'm starting this tutorial. Um, it would be really nice if I had um, six promotion points. Um, so I could promote a saboteur to a commando. Um, it would allow me to uh, make a shot with an airburst without needing to go retrieve one of the boxes. Um, so that might be something I'll toy with later uh, when actually running this Grand Prix. Um, to get the six promotion points, uh, I essentially didn't need to promote this pig at all. This pig could have been a grunt throughout this whole uh, island run. Um, this pig wasn't used in mission 11 or 12 or really 13. In fact, this pig would be better if it just had a, a grenade like a grunt has. Um, so the only reason I upgraded her dry was to get a shrapnel grenade. Um, so in, yeah, in the future I might plan for this pig to be a grunt if that doesn't hinder us too much with losing a pig unnecessarily. Um, it'll only be, uh, I'll only be able to save a few seconds if this pig was a commando. Um, it's just the amount of time it takes to get to the crate. Um, so for this mission, mission 14, um, you can pretty much run this with any lineup, um, as long as you have a hero really, because we need at least one airstrike. Um, Ideally, the individual level is record is set by having two heroes, um, but we'll, in an island run, uh, to get two heroes, you'll only allow be allowed one more promotion point. So, to only have three pigs promoted in an island run up to this point, um, you would have lost way much more time than it would take um, than you'd save in just having two airstrikes for this mission. Uh, so all I've done uh, is swap our hero to first, because the first thing we're going to do is an airstrike. So, uh, time to get into the gameplay. Right, okay. Explanation time. Um, so... First thing we're going to do is an airstrike, and I'm choosing the compound on the right uh, because this compound is harder to kill both uh, enemies with just air bursts. Okay. And, uh, so all along this, these edges um, are tiles which aren't slippery. If these enemies land anywhere up here, uh, it's likely they'll be split apart um, from each other, which makes a second shot to both of these pigs. Uh, much harder. Um, it's likely that it will take three air bursts um, instead of just two in the other compound. So that's that's why I'm choosing this one, even though the other one, uh, the other compound is almost. It's, it's very trivial to line up an airstrike to kill both pigs. In this one, it's a slight, slightly bit harder, uh, but I think I found a. Fairly consistent place for me. I will probably adjust this as the Grand Prix goes on and I um, research this a bit more. But really, my placement is uh, drawing from diagonal, or the bottom corner of this tile, to this tile, um, hopefully a more straight line, uh, and trying to place um, the center of my airstrike in the center of this tile. Um, and then the other thing to do is with the point is to point uh, parallel or maybe slightly uh, above the center of this tile. Um, this is fairly successful for me, but I've, I've run it back a few times and there are a few times where it doesn't quite work out. So I'm gonna set a save state and try it a few different times and see what happens. So from here is, so I'd simulate, I'd be aiming up like this as fast as possible, trying to get something like that. I'm going to just speed this up and see what happens. Maybe 
They both die, maybe they don't. Um, that guy's going onto a mine, and that one's dead. The one that slipped onto a mine, um, if that one was to survive on the grass somewhere around here, they would then die because they tend to walk to towards this crate. So that's why I go for this setup, because even some of the failure cases actually end up being successful in the end. It might have happened in my any percent run where uh, the AI collected the crate. It's not particularly fast, but it's still another success rate. This might be success if that's enough damage there. Uh, well, it definitely was. Um, again, I'll try aim again. Trying very slightly different positions because uh, you do this in a rush, and you might you might not get it exact each time. And any small difference is enough to uh, change a success to a failure. Uh, but I've got all successes so far, um, so I'm going to move on to the next part. Uh, we really have to hope these guys miss with their uh, mortars, because it can be very painful if they knock your guys out, because uh, then you can't collect these air bursts. Um, so, well, when aiming these air bursts, I'm looking for a nice consistent place to stand, which is just as, just as this tile go, is about to go down, I can just hang out on the edge of here. Uh, this also has the advantage in that I'm not going to be collecting any of the crates that are falling uh, to the side or behind me. Uh, and then it's just full power to the center as much as you can. And hoping they stay together, which they do here. And that's going to make it easier for our next shot. If they get spread apart, um, you're probably taking at least three air bursts. Or you can walk all the way around and do some super shotgunning or something. But most of our guys are normal engineers. So again, uh, I'm also collecting the crates. Uh, so my first guy collected both crates. That's to uh, prevent there being a bomb essentially in your base, which can knock out your own pigs. Again, on the edge of this tile, you can adjust the position based on where the AI pigs are. So they were a little bit more forward, closer to us, so I could uh, change the position which I'm shooting from to try and uh, get the air burst into the center. But that's actually gone particularly well. Um, and that is this level. It's fairly simple. It's airstrike and a couple of air bursts, uh, ideally. Uh, three air bursts if you're unlucky. Um, but when it comes to aiming some of these shots, um, you might have to um, do some of the get your own reference points because I'm showing this on my graphic settings in Duck Station uh, and things might render slightly different depending on which emulator or graphic settings you have, even in the emulator. You want to find something that gives you a high uh, success rate for you. Um, so that's all I have to actually say for this level. You can run this level with pretty much any lineup that has a hero um, because you're just air striking and collecting air bursts. Um, as I said, if you have a commando, um, then you'll have an air burst. Or if you have pyros in your lineup, then you don't have to collect any crates at all. Uh, but you'll need to have a reference point um, uh, for the power that you're going to use towards the AI bases. The other thing, I didn't have to shoot an airburst towards the other base uh, in this tutorial, but it's good to know some good reference points um, if you have to fire an airburst off there uh, because one survived on low health. This is short and uh, sweet, so on to the next one.